Yes, it's recording. Okay. So. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. L here again. Today we are going to be celebrating the great American pastime, which is baseball. Because this month, June, there's going to be all kinds of baseball activities at the library. So, as you can see, I'm still wearing my mask when I need to. Remember, the virus numbers are still up, so be very careful so you can enjoy all our baseball activities. I thought I would make something today that you might find at a baseball game, and I'm kind of combining two things. You would find hot dogs, definitely, and you would find pretzels. So we are going to make pretzel hot dogs, and these are easy pretzel hot dogs. Now, let me show you what I have here. First of all, of course, we have to have hot dogs, and I use these, I guess I shouldn't show you the brand, but these are beef hot dogs, and these are really long ones. And then we're going to use some of the biscuits in a can, even though we were supposed to use the frozen biscuits, which I couldn't find. So these are biscuits in a can. And then um, I have some baking soda here, because I had to put this in a big pot of boiling water, and I'll show you what that's going to be used for. And I have some of our spray uh, oil that I put on our pan that we'll be making our hot dogs on. And then this is an egg mixed with some water, so we can brush this on top of our pretzel dogs. So, to get us started, I have one of the biscuits that came out of this can here, and I have to roll this into an 18 inch long rope. You gotta have to pinch it a little bit and let it keep going like that. And this uh, cutting board I'm using is about 18 inches, so we're gonna go by that. And I keep stretching it, and it kind of wants to bounce back on itself, so you just have to keep going until you stretch it really well. And I have my hot dog, which I actually parboil to get rid of some of the salt. You don't have to do that, but make sure it's nice and dry so that your dough will stick to it. And as you can see, I am rolling it all around the hot dog. If you use regular size hot dogs, the dough will cover it more, but with our extra long ones, it kind of just covers the middle. And what I have to do is pinch the two ends together so that the dough stays on the hot dog. I already made some and we had a little problem with that. So I'm really going to pinch this back really well. Get it all pinched up like that. And by the way, we have a new cameraman because Chloe is very busy working and going to school, so my husband is doing the filming. So now I have my four hot dogs with our dough all rolled around it. So I have my oven set to 450 degrees, but first, before I can put it in the oven, I have to put it in boiling water which has our quarter cup of baking soda in it. And that's what turns it into a pretzel. Pretzels are boiled in water and then baked. So they have to be in for 30 seconds and I can do two at a time. And I have a spider, I think this is called, which works well. So I'll put one in and I put two in and then I set my timer for 30 seconds, just like that. And then when that goes off, I will put them on my rack here. Get that out of the way. And then they'll dry a little bit, and then we can bake them. So, you can see this is really pretty easy. Uh, this is kind of like making pigs in the belt blanket where you put little hot dogs in the um, the crescent rolls or in any kind of roll, but 
by putting it in boiling water, it makes it a pretzel. So I have a cookie sheet with a wire rack. So I'm gonna take these out and let them sit like this. Ooh, these came nice. They didn't unroll like the other ones I did. And then I'll put my other two, okay, one and two, and set it again for 30 seconds. All right, so that's 30 seconds, not very long. And I have it kind of a little low. The first ones I did, I had it boiling too much, and I think that's why they kind of came apart. So we will see, just waiting for 30 seconds. So if you're watching this, let me just remind you on Tuesday, June 7th at 10 in the morning, I think, I'll be doing a baseball story time. So if you are available, you can come to that. So let's see now, I'll take them out. Let them drain a little bit, get some of that water off of them. Turn my water off, okay. And now I'll let them just dry off a little bit. And now is the time to use my egg wash. That's what it's called, one egg and two tablespoons of water. And I mixed it up good. Now I'll take my brush and I'll brush them with the egg wash. Oh, almost did something wrong, guys. I have to put them onto my baking sheet first, like this. Oh, these stay together really nicely. Okay, and they look kind of glunky, kind of wet and sticky, but they'll look much better after we brush them with our egg wash, just like this all around as much as possible because the egg wash helps them get nice and brown like that okay so and then you can put a little bit of salt this is nice big kosher salt i'm going to only put it on a couple because we don't use too much salt around here so i'll put it just on two of them like that. And now these are ready to go in the oven. And you can see, nicely spaced. And they'll go in the oven like that. And they took about 15 minutes before. So that's what I'm gonna set it for. Even it says six to eight minutes, but every oven is different. And now let me show you, cause I already made some. This is what they look like when they come out. See, you can hold them in your hand. Those look like a pretzel. This one has some salt, so that makes it look more like a pretzel. You could dip it in mustard or ketchup, and you are all ready to go out to the ball game. So I hope we'll see you uh, at some of our programs. The actual Baseball game is going to be held on Saturday, June 11th at the um, track, the historic track, or at the library in the field, we're not sure. So be sure to come to that and try our recipe. And if you do, email us and show us what you made. Bye guys, thanks. Just press the button.